Moving on, the Civil Society Organization now transparency and advocacy for development initiative. Tadi, I was next called on Nigerian President Balaji uh, Ahmed Tinubu to Asak uh, Melikiari and uh, the chairman and group uh, general manager of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited. Tadi claims Gary's tenure has been a catastrophic failure marked by broken promises, mismanagement, and systemic corruption. The group claims that an NPCL has amassed $6.8 billion in debt to petrol suppliers, yet Nigerians still face fuel shortages and inflated pump prices. The Transparency Advocacy for Development Initiative hereby demand for the immediate removal of Melikiari and all directors as NNPCL who have contributed to the humble fuel crisis, financial mismanagement and corruption. We demand a full public audit of all refinery rehabilitation funds and a transparent investigation into the misuse of billions allocated for critical infrastructures and the appointment of a new leadership team that will prioritize competence, transparency and delivery of real solutions for Nigeria energy sector to be put in place. Mele Kiyari has had ample time and opportunity to prove his capacity and he has failed spectacularly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.